Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa! What is going on? Y'all pray for my hair. What's up, guys? Welcome to another video. It is Cami with the C. If you are new here, how you doing? So today we're gonna be doing a little experiment because I got freaking bored and decided I finally wanted to touch up my hair. But the first step in doing that journey is going to be using a color remover. So last night I washed and blow dried my hair and pre-sectioned them out in twists as you can see here. So that way it'll make it a bit easier for this process. So now what we're gonna do is I'm gonna show you how to mix up this color remover. Bit of disclaimer though. I'm lazy. I don't follow instructions. Okay, so what I have here is the L'Oreal Ephesol Color Remover. I'm pretty sure you guys have seen this a lot. I got it at Sally's for $5.99, but you probably could have got it for cheaper somewhere else. And I got three packs because I wasn't sure how much I was going to use, but I definitely feel like I was going to need more than one or two packs. I also have this Tony Developer by Ion Sensitive Scalp. It's got color points, brand, or whatever. I got, I've had this one from when I bleached my hair previously with the green color. And then as far as the way that I do my green, once we get to that point, I have three bottles of the Adore Electric Lime and then one bottle of clover and the only reason i use the clover is because i use three squirts of it to get like a little bit darker green than having just this bright green on my head and then of course i have a shower cap for processing brush and scissors to cut back to the blend and also you're going to need a non-metallic bowl so uh, first thing we're going to do is cut the freaking packets open and yeah I, I do see it says cut here on this side but I'm standing on the left side of the camera so we just gonna have to do it and hopefully this is a good angle so here we go and guys I, like I said I could follow the instructions but I don't, I don't really feel like it and I don't have anything to measure with either so there's no way I'm gonna be following this correctly. <laughs> oh, did you guys see that dust cloud? Oh, guys, definitely a bit of information I want to give you. Do this in a low ventilated area because I'm doing this in my bathroom. And as y'all know, I have the doors closed. And there's dust clouds. I don't know if you guys can see it, but there's dust clouds popping up, so do this in a well ventilated area. Next thing we're going to do is go in with our 20 volume developer. And like I said, I don't have anything to measure with. So we're just going to get to pouring until the consistency is right. Wait, oh my god. Jesus H Christ, this stuff is strong. Hopefully I'm in frame enough for you to see this and hopefully I'm being loud enough this time so you guys can hear me because I know I've been getting feedback that nobody can really hear me. So let me know in the comments down below if the audio is sounding better to you. Before I go ahead and start the applying process, um, you do have to be quick with this stuff. Go ahead and wear a shirt you do not care for. Like, I'm not saying I don't care for this shirt, but I mean, it's it'll add to the look of the shirt. So you make sure you wear something that you do not care about because this stuff is gonna get messy and it will screw your clothes up, okay? It will, no doubt about it. Okay, this is the first time I'm using a color remover, so I don't know what I'm doing. You guys are going to firsthand see that I have no idea what I'm doing. Hopefully this turns out well and my hair doesn't friggin' fall out. I'm telling you, I can't lose my hair. My hair is my baby. My hair is what makes me me. And if I lose my hair, well, 
You lose me. <laughs> it freaking smells too. It's thickening up really quick. Oh gosh, here goes the first section. All right, I'm starting at the end first, man. Yeah. It was at this moment that he knew he fucked up. Oh, oh guys. Oh, I hope this, I hope this doesn't screw my hair. I've already done enough to it, as you can see. Oh man. You guys are gonna see me screw up. Oh, you guys are gonna first hand see me. You know what? I swear to God. Oh. All right, Kim's having melted. Kim's having meltdown. It's not working. You know what? I do want this to turn ash color too. So you know what, guys? If this comes out looking ash color under the green, then I'm gonna be happy. The reason behind me using the color remover is because I decided, you know, I might want to try to put a lighter green on top of this. Maybe I don't know. Make it kind of look lighter than what I'm used to doing. But the thing is, I don't. I don't want to put it on top of the green that I already had. I got tired of doing that because, you know, as I've been doing it, the faded out parts get darker and darker and darker. So, I was just like, well, maybe I should just go ahead and try to take off the previous stuff that I have going on here and just start with a fresh base. Just have a fresh start. Oh, that's, that's kind of looking straight and not curly. Y'all, have y'all seen it ever do this? Look at this. I don't know if you can see this, but well, look at that. This shit is fluffing up. Is it supposed to fluff up like that? I don't think it's supposed to fluff up like that. I mean, I ain't never, I ain't never done this before. Like I said, I've never used this part before. So I would love if someone could go ahead and let me know, one, did you use this before on your hair? And two, did it do this? This stuff is burning my eyes then. Y'all please do this in a ventilated area because I just don't want to open the door so I already started this. And like I said, I'm trying to use this quick and get this done zone and over with. But God damn, it's burning my eyes. My eyes are probably pink. But oh well, we got this, we strong. This stuff looks so weird. It's like fluffing up like freaking like whipped cream icing. I have literally have no idea what is going on with the stuff. Like it looks really weird. And you know what? If there's still some green in my hair, it's okay. I'm not tripping. We're gonna end up putting in more green on my hair anyway, so I really just wanted to see how this was gonna turn out. And then I figured why not film it because I literally have nothing else to film as far as ideas go. I've been thinking for like the past four or five days, what the hell am I gonna film? So I was like, well, I guess I'll just be filming this. Cause I have nobody that loves me and watches me. God damn it, look, look here, why? What is the point of even using the brush? Ooh, I can already feel the heat. I can already feel the heat, guys. It's freaking, I already feel it on that side. Whoa, 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 whoa! <laughs> what the fuck? Why you gonna tell me this was following up over here? What is wrong with y'all? Why y'all ain't telling me? Why y'all ain't telling me my shit was turned into a puffball over here? What the mess? I hope it doesn't fall out. <gasps> Do y'all see that? I can't see it, but y'all can see it. Look at it. Please don't let this big damn my hair fall out, but look, it's coming out. All right, all right, and it's hella warm. It's hella warm. Maybe I should be glad I didn't use this much, that much on the side. On the other side? I don't know, man. Oh man. Oh my god, no wonder it's fluffing up. It's freaking heating up as we go. Alright, so you learned something new today, guys. This is why they said you need to work quick because this shit starts heating up and reacting to the developer, and that's probably why it's fluffing. I mean hair science don't make much sense to me, but I'm pretty sure that's why it's fluffing now. Now that I'm looking at it, I haven't felt the other side of my head, which didn't even feel warm until like a whole second ago. It feels like there's so much in my hair on that one side, but then I run my hands through it and then there's not. Guys, look at this. It looks like I never even used it. Look at this. It looks like I'm not using any. Oh. 
you know what? It's okay. It's okay. We'll be fine. Y'all pray for my hair. Y'all pray that it don't fall out. That God doesn't strike me down for praying for my hair to grow and then turning around and doing this. Cause your girl seems to be regretting the decision that she made. I've never seen this stuff do that before. I don't know what I did wrong. Hopefully, we won't have to come back and see me cutting my hair for real for real this time. Guys, what the fuck? What the fuck, man? What the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? Why does it say put a plastic cap on and let this sit in your hair? Please explain to me why it says that in the instructions. Cause how am I supposed to put a plastic cap on this? Is it gonna melt the plastic? Oh my god. What did I do? 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 Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm gonna cry. <laughs> what is going on? And it's still rising. Guys! It's, it's... Ooh! I just... I can't... I don't know why it's falling up like this. Like this is the pro probably the part right here where you would be screaming, can we fucking stop? <laughs> but it's already too late. I didn't gotten this far into my hair and I can't turn back. Am I retarded? Did I, is there something I missed on the, on the freaking packet? Guys, look at this. I don't know if you can see it. It literally says a foaming bath. Foaming bath. That's, that's, mm. Y'all, sometimes I worry about myself. I'm sitting up here freaking out because I don't know why it's foaming and it literally said on the packet, it's a foaming bath. <laughs> Alrighty guys, so I finished applying it all to my head. I went ahead and set a timer for 15 minutes. It says for light shades, use it like 10 to 20, but I'm gonna do about 15 and check it every like two to three minutes. And then we'll be back to see what everything looks like. Hopefully it comes out okay. This is what we're looking like now. You can't really tell on the camera, but it actually turned my hair really white in the back and then light green in the front. And I don't know why I did that. When I'm mixing the dye together, it is very black, but then as I apply it to my hair, that's when you actually see that it turns green. I decided to go ahead and use my fingers to apply the dye instead of the brush because in the past it's taken way more dye to apply with the brush than with my fingers. I'm just sectioning off my hair the same way I did with the color remover and massaging in the dye to make sure that I don't miss any spots.
Alrighty guys, and these are the final results. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye!